July 6th, 1988, 120 miles northeast of Scotland, the Piper Alpha oil rig. At 14,000 tons and two and a half times the height of the Statue of Liberty, it is one of the largest rigs in the world. Piper Alpha was the world's most successful oil rig. What that means was that in a single day, Piper Alpha produced more barrels of oil than any other oil rig or oil platform in the world. A crew of 226 rotates shifts to keep the oil and gas flowing. Jeff Bollins is the chief control room operator that evening. At 9.45 p.m., Jeff suddenly hears an alarm indicating a problem with one of the rig's condensate pumps. Them condensate injection pumps tripped more than any other equipment we had. No panic, we knew we needed to get it back on because it was gonna start affecting production. That evening, pump A is offline for maintenance, leaving just pump B working. The same pump that's now been shut down by the alarm's trip system. The condensate pumps were an integral part of the production facility. You couldn't have them both offline for any great length of time without shutting down everything. To avoid a full shutdown, a decision is made to halt maintenance on pump A and bring it back online. But what nobody knows is that pump A has a fatal flaw. During maintenance, its safety valve has been removed, meaning that there is nothing to stop thousands of cubic feet of gas escaping into the atmosphere. The faulty pump is switched back on. Then, at 9.55 p.m., disaster. A spark suddenly ignites the escaping gas, and an explosion rips through the rig. Confronted by 700-degree flames, most of the 226-strong crew are now either dead or severely injured. The nearest analogy is that it was a cross between Titanic and the Towering Inferno. All hell was breaking loose on that bit. It, it, it was just a scene for hell. It's the only way you could describe it, a, a scene of absolute carnage and hell. Flames, explosions, debris, Things were escalating so fast at that point that it was almost impossible to, to take things in. By 10 to midnight, less than two hours after the initial blast, the Piper Alpha is on the verge of collapse. Finally, the rig's legs start to give way and the Piper Alpha starts to slide into the sea. Where module was and the rest of the platform just started drifting apart and the other three quarters of the platform just very slowly fell into the North Sea. And that, that's my worst memory of the night, because I know for people who were still on it, it would have gone to the bottom of the sea. A total of 167 men lost their lives that night. Just 61 survived. <laughs> 